The SICK Block 2D camera is part of the ABB Robotics ecosystem. Today, we'll show how to set it up for ABB's GoFa Cobot. Let's get started. Insert the camera into the bracket and secure it by fastening the two screws. Next, attach the bracket to the GoFa tool flange. Then, in our case, we fasten our Zimmer Gripper adapter plate. Next, insert the gripper power and communication cables into the CS and CP Cobot ports. Finally, connect the Zimmer Gripper to the adapter plate. Moving on, we'll connect the Ethernet and power cables to the controller. Insert the Ethernet cable into the WAN port of the controller. To get the power connected, insert the brown cable into the first slot, or any of the odd ones of the X19 socket. Plug in the blue cable to the second slot or any of the even ones. Finally, connect the other ends of the Ethernet and power cables to the SICK camera. Download the SICK Block 2D add-in software from the SICK webpage to a USB stick. Insert the USB stick to the flex pendant. On the flex pendant home screen, Tap Controller Software, Add-in Installer, and Add Add-in. Tap your SICK installation file and press Select. Now, tap Next, Next, Apply, And yes to restart the controller. Open the SICK web app to start with the camera calibration. Start by adding the IP address to the camera and tap connect. Follow the instructions on the web app to move GoFa to the first of at least six points relative to the calibration target. Tap Add Pose on the Flex Pendant. Move the Cobot to the next position. Again, tap Add Pose on the Flex Pendant. Continue until the final position. Tap Add Pose and Next. Now, the cobot will move to each pose to take an alignment image. Follow the web app instructions to set the hand-eye alignment, the work plane and job definition. For detailed support, use the SICK Plock 2D Omnicore add-in manual.